In the past, in the earlier days of the internet, when it wasn't so developed as it is now, there were any number of ways that you could make easy money, but a lot of those aren't really working anymore. And what still does work all boils down to one basic principle. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you why some of the old tricks aren't working anymore, and I'm gonna tell you what is the number one secret to having a successful business in the marketplace today. And this is only gonna get more true as time goes on, so if you wanna be out in front of the trend where the money is instead of racing to catch up, then this video is for you. Okay, so here's the big secret. The number one thing that you want to do above all else is to deliver value. And I know you've probably heard that before, but hear me out. The person who delivers the most value in the marketplace is going to be the winner more now than it ever was in the past. It used to be that having great marketing could make up for having a bad product, and that's still true to a small extent, but it's getting less and less true as time goes on. There are two big reasons for that, which I'm gonna explain. And there are also a few exceptions where businesses can make money without providing legitimate value, which which I'm gonna show you as well. These are good things to know as a business owner, obviously, but they're also good things to know as a buyer so that you can know what to expect from other companies that are marketing to you. Now, the first reason that value is getting to be of the greatest importance is increased competition. As technology gets more advanced, the barriers to entry in just about every industry are getting lower. That's a fancy business school way of saying that it's easier for new people to get into business than it ever was before. For example, it used to be that if you wanted a website, you had to either learn to code or you had to pay a web developer a whole bunch of money to build one for you. But now with drag and drop editors like Wix and ClickFunnels, it's super easy for just about any to build a website. So now basically any Joe Blow that wants to start a business or requires a website can build one himself at minimal time and expense. So it's super easy to get into the industry. Or another example, if you want to make a video like I'm doing right now, just about everybody now can do this on their smartphone and then upload it to YouTube in 20 minutes. It didn't used to be anywhere near that easy. It used to be you had to have specialized skills or you had to hire a videographer to do that for you. But now just about anyone can do it and it's super easy. And of course, you can learn to do just about anything you want on the internet, right? I mean, our parents would have had to pay thousands of dollars to learn how to build a circuit board, for example, right? They would have had to pay for the college courses or the tech school courses or whatever. But now we can learn online for free just watching YouTube videos and practicing along with a little $20 circuit board kit that we bought on Amazon. So because there's so much more opportunity now than there ever was before, there's also more competition now than there ever was before, right? Because it's so easy for people to get started. So what that means is that there's a whole bunch of new products on the market and a whole bunch of people trying to advertise those products and it's getting harder and harder to get a new customer because there's so many people you have to compete with. And part of what that means is that if you want to be successful, you have to play the long game. And I'll tell you exactly what I mean by that. It's not so easy to get rich off of slick marketing that gets people to impulse buy your product anymore. If you want to be successful, you've got to keep providing value so that people keep coming back. For example, I offer a course called Digital Nomad University, which teaches you how to work from a laptop and travel the world, and I pay for ads to promote that course. But I don't actually profit any money from that course. All of the money that I make from that course goes to pay for more more ads. So if you buy my course, I don't make any money off that. All that money just goes to pay for my ad costs. And this is very common, by the way. A lot of marketers are doing this. So the only way that I would make money from you is if you buy something else from me in the future. And if you don't think that my course is good, if you don't think that it was worth your money, then what are the chances that you're gonna buy something else from me in the future? Probably not very much. So basically the only way that I can make money is if I sell you a quality product and you come back for more, then I make money off that future product. And because so many people are getting into the marketplace, the competition is getting higher, so the ad costs are getting higher and higher and higher. So more and more, this is the only strategy that works. So the best possible strategy for a business like mine is to sell a great product. You know, maybe I could trick you into buying a crappy product with slick marketing, but I wouldn't make any money off of it, right? Because you wouldn't come back. So even if I didn't care about my customers at all, and I only cared about chasing money, I would still have to sell quality products because that's the only way I can be profitable. It's getting to the point where it's not even a matter of integrity anymore. It's just a matter of survival. If you don't provide a great product, you're dead. It's capitalism getting more and more pure as time goes on. And also, if you're a really slick marketer, which you would have to be if you're gonna convince people to buy a crappy product, why would you sell that crappy product, right? If you're such a good marketer, why not just sell a good product? I mean, even if you don't have a good product of your own, it's easier than ever to find somebody else's product and sell it for them. 
So it just doesn't make any sense for a talented marketer to waste his skills selling a crappy product when selling a good product would be easier and more profitable. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button because it makes YouTube like me better. Hit subscribe if you're not already and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you don't miss anything new that I'm putting out. And if you think this is something that somebody else needs to hear too, then share it. Okay, now the second reason that value should be your primary focus is increased information. In 2019, if you sell a crappy product, it's going to be really hard to keep it a secret. Or if you sell a great product, for that matter. Whatever product you sell, people are going to talk about it. It's easier than ever to write reviews on online stores like Amazon or to put a review on your YouTube channel or your blog. So if you buy a product and you love it, or you buy a product and you hate it, you're probably going to tell people about that. And more and more people are realizing that they can read about other people's experiences with a product or service using online reviews. This is super obvious for sites like Amazon where the reviews are part of the sales page, but it's also true for brick and mortar businesses. It's true for online courses. It's true for just about everything that with just a quick Google search, you can find reviews. So you can do great marketing and get the customer all excited about your product, but the moment they Google your product and find all the negative reviews, well then they're not gonna wanna buy it, right? All your marketing was for nothing. And I know there's a bunch of people out there writing phony reviews trying to get affiliate sales, but even that I think is going to stop working very well. What that is, if you're not familiar with it, is sometimes people will write a glowing review of a product on their blog or on their YouTube channel, and often without even trying the product, right, they'll put an affiliate link in the blog or in the YouTube description so they get paid when somebody buys that product. So there's a whole bunch of dishonest reviews floating around because of that, because people are hoping you'll read their review and buy the product through their link and they get paid. But I think people are getting wise to it. So if you're leaving five-star reviews for two-star products, you're gonna start damaging your own reputation. Meanwhile, the people who are actually leaving honest reviews are building trust. So people are gonna start only listening to reviews from people they trust, and the information is gonna get better and better, and it's gonna get harder and harder to make money from leaving dishonest reviews. Okay, so that's why I think that providing legitimate value is the number one thing that you need to do to succeed in the modern marketplace. But let me give you a couple of exceptions. If you want to make money from people without giving them value, without making their lives better, you basically have two options. And obviously, I'm not telling you this so you can make money by ripping people off. I'm telling you this so you can be a smart buyer and know when companies are trying to steal from you. The first way is to work for the government or some government-controlled industry. That way, it doesn't matter how good or bad the product is, everybody has to pay you regardless. Right? Because people pay you through taxes, and if they don't pay their taxes, then they go to jail. So you can sell the worst product in the world or the worst service, and it doesn't matter because people have to pay their taxes regardless. If you've ever wondered why the customer service is so horrible at any government agency or electric company or whatever company gets a monopoly from the government, that's why. They don't have to give you good service because they know that you don't have any choice but to pay them. Okay, now the second way that you can make money without actually providing value to people is to profit from their addictions. So you could sell cigarettes or alcohol or cocaine, or to a lesser extent, pharmaceuticals, social media, trash TV. I mean, technically you could say you're providing value in the moment because you're saving people from having to go through withdrawal, but you're obviously not making their lives better. There's a fine line there. I mean, I drink beer sometimes. I don't think that everybody who sells alcohol is evil. I'm just saying that the market's still not 100% perfect and there's still people out there who can make a buck by exploiting other people's weaknesses. So be aware of that. But we're definitely moving in the right direction and fast. So if you want to make money in tomorrow's economy without having to deal with the government or addicts, figure out how to really serve people, how to provide value, how to make people's lives better. Just like starting a business is easier than it ever was before, it's also getting easier to go out and listen to people, figure out what they want, what they're afraid of, right? what problems you can solve. And then you can go out and learn how to solve those problems and how to meet those needs and how to make people's lives better. So if you want to make money and be successful in business, ignore all the propaganda you've been fed that says that rich people are evil and start finding ways to help people because that's where the money is. Now, if what I said in this video resonates with you and you think you could start a successful business, I recommend you watch this video first. Of course, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.